Hi, so today a quick video about SIBO. What is SIBO and how can you heal SIBO? So before we start the video, like the video, share the video, subscribe. I make two videos per week uh, about natural health and especially about gut health. Uh, go visit my website, thecandidaslayer.com. The link will be under this video. On my website, uh, you will find my blog where I write articles about um, natural health and you will find my my course about how to heal your gut naturally. So click on the link below thecandidaslayer.com to find my course. So what is SIBO? SIBO means small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So as the name says it, uh, you have too much bacteria in your small intestine and it will cause issues. So SIBO is a dysbiosis and candida is, a, is dysbiosis, SIBO is dysbiosis. Dysbiosis is when your uh, gut microbiome is unbalanced and then, you know, it leads to um, different issues. So what symptoms do you have from SIBO? Because you have too much bacteria in your small intestine. So bacteria, when you eat something, um, the, the food arrives to the stomach and then to the small intestine. And in the small intestine, the, the, the food is supposed to be absorbed. But there, if you have too much bacteria in your small intestine, uh, your food won't be completely absorbed by yourself. It will be eaten by your bacteria. And when your bacteria eats, uh, when your bacteria eat, they make uh, gas. Yeah? You know, it's, it's a type of fermentation. So they make gas. So if they make gas in your stomach, you will have gas. Okay. So the main symptoms of SIBO is that you are very bloated, especially after your meals. You have gas, uh, you have stomach ache, and you can't gain weight uh, or you even lose uh, weight because, again, your bacteria eat your food instead of you. So what are the causes of SIBO? Uh, it's mainly uh, chemical toxicity uh, and it's mainly caused by chemical drugs. The number one cause is antibiotics. Okay, antibiotics, they destroy your gut flora, they destroy uh, the balance in your gut. So antibiotics, number one cause. Proton pump inhibitors, uh, the second main cause of SIBO. Proton pump inhibitors, that's what your doctor will give you if uh, you go to the doctor because you have uh, like um, heartburn, uh, you have uh, acid reflux. So your doctor tells you it's because uh, your stomach is too acidic. So you have to lower the acidity of your stomach. Uh, this is not true. I actually have a whole video about uh, gastritis. Uh, I explain in this video everything you need to know about gastritis, why you have acid reflux, uh, why you have heartburn. So go watch that video. It's up there on the top uh, right corner of this video. So when you take anti-acids, um, so it, it will block the acidity, the natural acidity of your stomach. Your stomach is supposed to have an acidity between 1 and, and 3, a, a pH of between 1 and 3, more or less. Okay, that's very acid. It's not only to digest your proteins, but it's also uh, to eliminate um, intruders, you know, like uh, uh, pathogenic bacteria or parasites that could come with the food you eat. Okay, so it's, it's like a natural barrier. Um, it will stop bacteria in the stomach. It, so they, they stop here and, they, and, then, and they die because of the acidity. So they, they won't colonize your small intestine. So if you block this natural acidity, then it's open, open bar. <laughs> it's an open gate for your bacteria to invade your small intestine. So uh, the PPIs are really, really bad and they are very often a cause of uh, SIBO and they cause so many other uh, issues. Um, glyphosate, you know, herbicides, pesticides, etc. in your food that are sprayed uh, in the fields, you know, in the crops, uh, sprayed on, on grains, on legumes, on, on vegetables, on fruits. So if you don't eat organic foods, you will eat these toxic chemicals. Um, uh, Monsanto Roundup um, main, main ingredient is uh, um, glyphosate and glyphosate was patented as an, uh, an antibiotic, okay? So um, eating non-organic food is like eating antibiotics. And as we just said, antibiotics destroy your gut flora and will cause many issues, will cause SIBO, will cause candida, will cause many, many other things. 
eating um, processed foods, of course, also because processed foods are full of toxic chemicals that will uh, completely um, unbalance your, that, that will completely destroy your gut microbiome. Uh, it's also full of sugar, full of di different additives. It's it's so bad for you, not only for, di for your digestive health, but for your health in general. So uh, don't eat um, processed foods. And constipation uh, can be a cause of SIBO, or at least it will aggravate your uh, SIBO because your stools stay too long in your gut. And if your stool stay too long in your small intestine and in your colon, um, you know, bacteria will have time to, um, uh, to uh, multiply. So, uh, and also uh, some of the bacteria from your colon can get up into the small intestine. And that's, that's very bad. How can you heal SIBO? Number one, you have to eat the right diet. As we said, uh, eliminate completely all processed foods, including all alcohols, beers, and stuff like that. Okay, eliminate that. Have the right diet. Um, that is to say, um, a, a Western Western A Price type of diet. If you don't know Western Price, read his book Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. Or watch my video about him. It's actually a, an old documentary uh, that I translated to French, but you don't care about the translation. So uh, I will put the link uh, up there on the top uh, right corner of this video. So eat a Western A Price diet, that is to say a natural diet. Animal products, um, fish, meat, you know, eggs if you uh, tolerate eggs, um, you know, dairy if you tolerate dairy, but usually people with gut issues cannot uh, tolerate dairy. Uh, this is very important that you do a food intolerance test. Uh, I talk about that in several of my videos. Uh, it's just easier to heal if you know your food intolerances. So I encourage you to do a food intolerances uh, uh, test. You know, it's a blood test. I'm not talking about the prick uh, finger test where they just take a, a drop of your blood no that doesn't work i'm not talking either about the the hair test no i'm talking about the real um blood uh, test for igg where they take several tubes of your blood and they test it okay uh, anyway so a natural diet animal products and vegetables be careful with vegetables uh, don't eat too much uh, you know whole vegetables because they have fiber and fiber as well as sugar that's why you can see the other pictures um, on this slide where there's the, the the red cross it's because you need to avoid sugar as much as you can sugar carbs you know in general as much as you can when you have SIBO because sugar is the favorite food of bacteria and, and fungi uh, same as fiber fiber you know your bacteria will um, uh, eat uh, fiber and will ferment fiber and 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 then you will have more gas and so on so um be careful with fiber. Everybody's different. Uh, for some people, fiber will be fine. For some other people, it will really make their symptoms worse. So be careful with fiber. That's why I prefer to recommend when you have these types of issues, you know, dysbiosis and stuff like that, and a, and a sensitive gut, I prefer to recommend um, vegetable juices, okay, rather than whole uh, vegetables. Um, but be careful when you do vegetable juices, be careful with the vegetables high in oxalates. I have a video about oxalates, so please please watch it if you plan on uh, making green juices. I will put the link uh, on the top right corner of this video. Number two, you, you need to heal your constipation. As we said, uh, constipation can really aggravate uh, your symptoms because your stool um, stay way too long in your gut and then therefore uh, the bacteria will uh, multiply and multiply and multiply okay so you need to heal your constipation i have a whole video about constipation how can you heal constipation the link will be up there on the top right corner how to heal your constipation Number three, fix your gut microbiome. Here again, I have many videos about that. So basically, how to fix your gut microbiome, you need to um, take uh, herbal remedies. What herbal remedies will do, they will eliminate um, the overgrowth. Okay, the, it, it's like sweeping, you know, a room uh, before, you know, uh, um, before moving in, you know, before putting uh, uh, your TV and your uh, couch and your table and stuff. You need to clean the room first, you know. If it's a mess, it won't work, you know. So you need to clean your intestine, you need to clean your gut with herbal remedies first and then you need to take probiotics 
Okay, so I have several videos on my channel about uh, different herbal remedies, about um, um, oregano essential oil. Be careful when you take oregano essential oil. You need to know what you are doing when you when you are taking it. So um, this one, you, uh, I have a video about um, uh, Nigella sativa, you know, black cumin. I have a video about berberine. I have a video about um, uh, caprylic acid also. Um, so go watch my other videos. And yeah, and then you, you take pro, uh, probiotics to repopulate your gut with the right bacteria. Um, <clears throat> so either probiotic pills, either probiotic foods, if you tolerate probiotic foods, um, everybody's different, but usually people cannot tolerate probiotic foods right away. So I prefer to recommend that you take probiotics, uh, probiotic pills first, and then you take probiotic foods like um, kefir, for example, or any other fermented foods that you make uh, at home. <clears throat> I have several videos about kefir, so uh, yeah, go watch my uh, videos about kefir. And number four, have a good lifestyle. This is as important as everything else. It's as important as uh, the diet and the uh, the supplements. Okay, you cannot heal if you do only the diet and the supplements and you forget about uh, the lifestyle. Okay, you need to go uh, into the sun. You need to um, go outside every day, even in winter, at least a few minutes per day. Get uh, sunshine at least on your face uh, and as much as possible on, on your whole body. Not only for vitamin D, because but because light is is essential uh, and you can actually feel it when uh, when you wake up in the morning and it's sunny and and there's a blue sky. It, it you're automatically like much happier. <laughs> it makes you happier, so it makes you healthier. Okay, so the sun, very important. Go outside, um, exercise. Uh, if you cannot do much exercise, it's okay. Just go outside. Just walk. Even if you walk only a few minutes, you need to go outside. Don't stay in your home, in your bed, uh, not moving and, and crying about your disease. No, you need to go outside regularly as much as possible. Detox your body. You cannot heal if you are very toxic. You need to detox your body. I have other videos about that uh, in my channel. Um, I have a whole video about clay, for example. So go watch that video. And of course, I detail, I detail that in my uh, course on how to heal your gut on my website, thecandidaslayer.com. Um, be happy. Uh, I mean, uh, meet with your friends and family. This will make you happy. Don't listen to uh, what they are saying right now on TV and radio and so on, that you need to be scared of other people. No, um, uh, social interactions are very important to be happy. Um, throw away your TV and your radio, you know, uh, from your window, like uh, uh, um, smash them with a hammer, whatever. <laughs> um, you, you, you know, the, the news are what, you know, make you unhappy. The, the news what... The news is what um, really uh, uh, stress you up. Um, it's a it's a permanent apocalypse on TV, on the radio. So um, they make you believe that this world is just horrible and you need to be scared of everything. Uh, no, 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 no. Turn off your TV or even better, uh, throw it in the garbage and go in the real world. Go outside. Look around you. It's not the apocalypse that the TV is, is talking about. It's not at all the same thing. Between the real world outside and the world in your TV, it, it's two completely different worlds. Okay, So very important, don't listen to the news. Um, and uh, don't forget about the connection between the mind and the body. You need to heal your mind to heal the body and vice versa. You need to heal your body to heal your mind. So don't forget about your mind, your uh, emotions. Uh, heal your uh, emotions. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, so um, if you want more information about my course, the link will be under this video. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.